Did you know these 20 facts about the Colosseum? Let's start from the beginning. The construction of the Colosseum, or the Flavian Amphitheatre as it's also known, began under Emperor Vespasian in the year AD 72. This colossal structure, crafted from concrete and sand, was completed under Vespasian's successor and heir Titus in AD 80. The name Colosseum is believed to have originated from a colossal statue of Nero, known as the Colossus of Nero, that stood nearby. Interestingly, despite the statue's eventual disappearance, the name Colosseum stuck, forever branding this iconic amphitheater. The alternate name, the Flavian Amphitheater, is derived from the Flavian dynasty of emperors, under whose reign the amphitheater was built. This architectural marvel has stood the test of time, becoming a symbol of ancient Rome's grandeur. Now that we know its origins, let's delve into the inaugural games that marked its grand opening. The Colosseum didn't just open, it was inaugurated with a spectacle. Indeed, the introduction to this architectural marvel was nothing short of grand. Picture this, gladiatorial contests, animal fights, and theatrical performances unfolding over a span of 100 days. Each day, a new story was woven and told within the elliptical amphitheater, captivating the throngs of spectators who filled the seating tiers. In the heart of Rome, the Colosseum became the stage for a diverse array of events. From gladiators battling for their lives to wild beasts from far-flung corners of the empire, the inaugural games showcased the power and reach of Rome. These spectacles were not just entertainment, but a demonstration of Roman might and wealth. As the sun set on the hundredth day, the closing ceremony marked the end of the inauguration. Yet it was just the beginning for the Colosseum. From sea battles to animal hunts, the Colosseum was a stage for a variety of events. The Colosseum was more than just an amphitheater. It was a hub of entertainment. This grand structure was the stage for a dazzling array of events that were as diverse as they were thrilling. The most famous of these were the gladiatorial fights, where warriors, most often slaves, prisoners, or condemned criminals, were pitted against each other in life or death battles. These fights were a spectacle, drawing thousands to witness the display of courage, skill, and often brutality. But the Colosseum was not just about gladiatorial combat. It also hosted mock sea battles, known as Naumachiae. To achieve this, the arena was ingeniously flooded with water, transforming it into a temporary sea. On this man-made body of water, full-scale naval vessels would engage in choreographed warfare, offering a spectacle that was as dramatic as it was unique. The Colosseum also served as a venue for wild animal hunts. Exotic beasts from the far reaches of the empire were brought in, and skilled hunters would stalk and kill these creatures much to the delight of the spectators. These hunts underscored Rome's dominion over nature, just as the gladiatorial combats underscored its dominion over men. Executions too were held in the Colosseum, often staged as reenactments of myths and historical events. These were grim reminders of the power of the state, and they served both as entertainment and as a deterrent for potential troublemakers. But how was all this possible? The answer lies beneath the arena floor, in the Hypogeum. This complex network of tunnels and chambers was where animals, gladiators and props were kept before the shows. With an intricate system of lifts and trap doors, they could be brought into the arena at the right moment, adding an element of surprise to the spectacles. The Colosseum's design was a testament to Roman engineering and architectural prowess. Its ability to host such a diverse array of events and to do so with such spectacle and efficiency is a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of its creators. The Colosseum wasn't just big, it was brilliantly designed. This architectural marvel boasted a complex system of arches, columns and levels. Each arch and column not only added to the aesthetic appeal, but also served a functional purpose, supporting the massive structure. The ingenuity of the design was such that even with the weight of tens of thousands of spectators, the amphitheater stood firm. The materials used in its construction were equally impressive. The outer wall was made of travertine stone, a type of limestone known for its durability and strength. On the inside, the Romans opted for brick and concrete, materials that were both sturdy and relatively easy to work with. The arena floor, where all the action took place, was covered in sand, a practical choice given the often bloody nature of the spectacles it hosted. 
But the Colosseum's history isn't just about glory. It also faced destruction and reuse. From the grandeur of the Roman Empire to the ruin and back, the Colosseum has seen it all. Once a symbol of the might and glory of the Roman Empire, this architectural marvel has also tasted the bitterness of decay. Earthquakes shook its foundations, damaging parts of the structure, and over the centuries, its stones were pillaged, repurposed for other construction projects across Rome. A monument that once hosted thousands of spectators for grand spectacles was reduced to a skeletal reminder of what once was. Yet, even in this state of ruin, the Colosseum has always been more than a pile of ancient stones. It has been a silent witness to history, its walls resonating with tales of the past. One such tale is the myth of Christian martyrdom within the Colosseum. While it's a popular belief that Christians were systematically martyred here, there's no concrete historical evidence to support this. Most likely, such events occurred in other Roman arenas. Despite the ravages of time and human intervention, the Colosseum refused to fade into oblivion. Over the years, concerted restoration efforts have been undertaken to stabilize and preserve this iconic structure. These efforts have breathed new life into the Colosseum, ensuring that it continues to stand as a proud symbol of Rome's rich history. In recognition of its historical and cultural significance, the Colosseum, along with other historic sites in Rome, has been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This status underlines the global importance of preserving this testament to ancient Roman civilization for future generations. Today, the Colosseum stands not just as a relic of the past, but as a living part of Rome's cultural life. It continues to be a central character in the city's narrative, drawing millions of visitors each year who come to marvel at its grandeur, learn about its history, and perhaps, for a moment, imagine the roars of the crowd echoing through time. From glory to ruin and back again, the Colosseum remains a timeless symbol of Rome's enduring spirit. The Colosseum is more than just a monument, it's a vibrant part of Rome's culture. This ancient amphitheater has not only survived the ravages of time, but has also adapted to the rhythm of modern life. Today, it stands as one of the world's most popular tourist destinations, with millions of history enthusiasts and curious travelers flocking to its imposing structure each year. It resonates with the echoes of the past, while simultaneously serving as a backdrop for various cultural events. The Colosseum's influence extends beyond its physical presence. It is depicted on the Italian version of the five-cent euro coin, firmly establishing its status as a national symbol. Concerts and theatrical performances are held within its ancient walls, allowing artists and audiences to experience the unique atmosphere of this historic site. The Colosseum, an enduring symbol of ancient Rome, continues to capture our imagination. From its towering dimensions to its appearances in pop culture, the Colosseum isn't just a historical monument, it's a cultural icon. The Colosseum, with its mighty arches and colossal stature, has long enchanted storytellers and artists alike. Its majesty transcends the bounds of time and place, and it has firmly rooted itself in our collective consciousness, thanks to its numerous appearances in pop culture. From the silver screen to the pages of novels, it has served as the backdrop for thrilling stories of valor, conflict, and resilience. One of the most notable instances of this is Ridley Scott's epic film, Gladiator, released in the year 2000. This film, with its gripping tale of a Roman general turned gladiator, brought the Colosseum back to life in stunning detail. The grandeur and brutality of the ancient arena were vividly portrayed, forever etching its image in the minds of millions of viewers around the world. But the Colosseum's presence in pop culture is not limited to just films. It has also been featured in various video games, novels, and television shows, each time adding another layer to its rich tapestry of stories. It has become an enduring symbol of ancient Rome, a testament to its architectural prowess and its taste for spectacle. And let's not forget the original crowning statues that once adorned this magnificent structure. At the entrance, a massive bronze statue of Emperor Nero, known as the Colossus of Nero, once stood. This statue, which lent its name to the Colosseum, was later replaced with a statue of the sun god, Sol. These statues, though no longer present, contribute to the Colosseum's rich history and its iconic status in pop culture. From serving as the stage for brutal gladiatorial combat to being the backdrop of epic cinematic tales, the Colosseum has had a fascinating journey through the ages. 
Its cultural impact is as immense as its physical structure, and its influence continues to endure. From its origins to its modern-day status, the Colosseum stands as a testament to the grandeur, ingenuity, and endurance of the Roman Empire. Enjoyed learning about the Colosseum? Fascinated by its grandeur, its history, and its cultural impact? There's so much more to discover and learn. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you interesting and informative content just like this. So why wait? Hit the subscribe button and join our community of knowledge seekers. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. By doing so, you'll be the first to know when we upload new videos. From histories of iconic structures to intriguing tales of times past, we've got it all. So subscribe now and let's continue this journey of discovery together. Stay tuned for more fascinating facts and stories. See you in the next video.